Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. This is Mavery, and right now we're going to be watching episode 20 of Fairy Gone. So, last episode we left where Dorothea was just about to initiate a raid on the Ministry of Fairies, uh, which they have found out were behind a lot of the incidents, I guess you could say. They're trying to gather all the Black Fairy Tombs for some nefarious purpose. And of course, they wouldn't have found that out if the Ministry of Fairies would just, you know, bide their time a little bit and take it easy, right? But that, there, that bridge has been crossed. I already talked about it at length in the last episode. Let's see what happens now. I have a sneaking suspicion that they actually are aware that Dorothea is coming. Let's find out. All right, let's begin in three, two, one, play. I mean, the setup from last episode was basically at least the higher ups would know, right? It's gonna be abandoned or something. That's my guess. Yeah, those are like the rank and file. See? They have gone already. Oh? What? <laughs> Why you use such a long fuse? Eh, whatever. No opening? Okay. I guess we're speeding up the pace now. Wolfren is one of the lieutenants? Why did they help Raidondo? Is that why Wolfram was helping Radon earlier? 
guess they need to keep him alive. So how many fairy weapons do I have in custody right now? In possession right now? Four? Five? Like, I still don't understand why couldn't, why they couldn't have done this under the ministry. I assume he's going to go to Wolfran's place. Three, I mean. I assume he's talking about the relationship between those two. Make some progress in their relationship. And of course, like I said, three is going towards what friends place. I assume now is when he's going to find out about his family, his wife and child. Yeah. So, was this the reason why he eventually joined this Ein's order, this cult? Maybe they have some sort of way to revive people? Why do you know, old man?
All right. So two two dead ends. Yeah, they have certainly infiltrated a lot of places. more candidates, right? So they already have candidates. Cults make people crazy. But that is like literally one of the <laughs> stupidest way to do that. You leave the glass vial there. Like, oh my god, they really haven't thought this through. Who is Oleg? I can't really remember. You know, since the other ministries are also working together with them, you would think that they would be more suited to this kind of investigative work rather than Dorothea. Oh! Okay. Wait, if you thought that he nearly died, why do you know where to find him? Oh, okay. So they're literally right back to her village. Okay. Still, that was a pretty long shot to think that Oleg would still be right near the village.
All right, what's he gonna show them? Okay. I think in I think in Radon's case, you know, his entire thing is that he doesn't believe in the goodness of humanity. So he would rather just burn this entire place down and not have any of this anymore. No, because the best are sacrificed. And Radon basically came in and said, to hell with all these rules and stuff. Whasha! I wouldn't doubt that, actually. Oh, this one. Really? Why are you being mean to him? It's not like he knew any better. Alright, some more alone time between Maria and Three.
No, oh, okay. Scratch that alone time idea. <laughs> Is that going to lead her to another fairy? Mm. Wolfran. Alright, I wasn't expecting that, actually. Alright. There might be a little bit after this. If there is, I'll see you guys again. If not, see you guys in the discussion part. And yes, there is indeed a little bit more after the ending. So let's watch this in three... Two, one, play. Prime Minister's official residence. Who is this? Is this Mark of Bellwood or Sent Ray Dawn? No, it's neither. It's Grief, all right. Second in command. Is the Prime Minister just gonna die like this? Really? Just like that? That... <laughs> all right. Well, that was an ending that I didn't really expect. Uh, did did the prime minister was the prime minister really just killed off just like that? I know I'm kind of suspicious about this because we don't actually see him being pierced or slain or anything. We just see blood flying anyways uh, everywhere, right? So it could entirely be a possibility that that is just sort of a you know a a false flag or something. So it's not really true, it's not his blood or something, or he might just only be wounded. Because I don't really think that such an important character who's who's been here for so long can just easily be taken out just like that, right? It wouldn't really make much sense to me. So I'm on the fence on that. I'm leaning towards that the Prime Minister is still alive for now. Um, Alright, so in regards to the rest of the episode... Um, you know, a lot of the a lot of the inconsistencies and you know stuff that are just way too convenient. Uh, you know, being at the right place at the right time or whatnot. Um, I'm not gonna go at length about this. I already mentioned this numerous times, but um, I do believe that the offer is having a difficult time really translating what should be, you know, a sort of build up into an anime form, and so he's choosing a lot of I don't know, really, really. Uh, how should I say it? it? It's just not smooth, right? The transition isn't smooth. It, it feels very forced, let me say. Um, but um, whatever, right? Let's put that aside and concentrate on the actual story at hand. So I think right now we can mostly get the, the idea of what each party is trying to do, right? The Ein's Order is trying to get the... You know, they're trying to revive the Divine Beast or whatnot. They're a cult. They're sort of, you know, religious fanatics. How, why they are reviving it, don't really know. Maybe they believe it'll bring them ultimate power. Maybe they believe that it'll usher them into a new age of fairies or whatnot. Why is Wolfram working with them? You know, he's... I can definitely see him being, you know, down and, like, um, emotionally unstable after he lost his family and whatnot. But um, what can this group promise to bring him, right? Is it like, like just salvation, saving your soul, that kind of spiel? Or is it more a case of, you know, 
allowing him to revive his dead family, or maybe to just destroy everything to be the the uh, sort of like the war to end all wars, right? Like uprooting uh, Unified Zestia from its roots and just completely overturning everything, right? So that Wolfram would feel that his you know, all the sacrifices that he made actually amounted to something, in a sense. Uh, those are all possibilities, I guess you could say. Um, and in regards to the fairies and whatnot, especially uh, with the village Suna, um, I still hold my belief that Radon is actually doing what he believes is the right thing. He believes I don't know. I don't quite know the extent to how, um, how much Radon knows about all of this, right? Um, fa including fairy possession. Well, he is fairy possessed, so he would obviously know about fairy possession. Um, and I guess other stuff such as you know just how bad uh, these powers would be if they fall into the wrong hands and so on and so forth. Uh, but I mentioned before, right? I do believe that Radon is trying to you know his entire thing is that he believes humans should just be humans. They shouldn't rely on fairies. Uh, fairies are a menace to the to human society, and so he just wants to eradicate this. That's probably why he eradicated Suna as well. So. You know, he believes he's doing the right thing. Um, so obviously Maria here is saying that, hey, even though she has fairy possession, even though she wields this great power, she's not going to use it for bad, right? I believe in Radon's case, he would prefer to not deal with this situation at all and just completely wipe them out so that humanity won't have to deal with fairies anymore. Um, and um yeah that put, that will still potentially be coming up in the future as well in fact since we do know that the Ains order is trying to um you know gather these fairy possessed people of which there are three it's entirely possible that they're and you know they considered maria just as an extra candidate right so that means obviously that they already know uh, who the others are and i suspect radon is probably one of them um and i'm also thinking that perhaps this is why they helped him in the past you know they helped him uh, allowed him to help the prime minister and whatnot um and that is that is another question I have, right? Why do they do that? Is it because they have some sort of agreement, or they want to get close to Radon to eventually use him as one of the fairy possessed, or is it because they needed to maintain the stability of Unified Zessia at that point, so that you know the Ains Order under the working as the Ministry of Fairies, you know, they still had a front there to allow them to achieve their goals. And by the way, I know I've mentioned this a lot many times already, but I still maintain the fact that none of this would have happened if the Ministry of Fairies just kept things secret up to the very last moment, right? Like, you could literally, they literally have the power and authority. They, they are the only authority on the fairy tomes. They could easily use this official capacity to do research on the black fairy tomes. They had the, the, um... They had the fairy element, whatnot, you know, the, the, what do they call it, the, the immortal one, the immaculate one, whatever it's called. They had a, they had that fairy trapped underneath the Ministry of Fairies. Literally, they could have just bided their time and finished everything right there. I, I have no idea why they decided to jump the gun and raise everybody's suspicions on the, to them, and then now they are on the run and can't do things openly, right? Like, that still, to me, makes completely no sense at all. Um... But anyways, anyways, that's probably what's going to happen next. And I think, uh, especially since here we see Wolfran uh, confronting Maria. Well, I guess Free maybe uh, is going to fight Wolfran enough. But I'm feeling that there might potentially be a scene in the future where all three of the fairy possessed are gathered and perhaps Radon is going to be the one that saves Veronica or something. And then that causes her to, you know, rethink her entire thing about trying to kill Radon, right? Potentially, potentially. Um, so yeah, what else is there to talk about for this episode? I think that's about it. You know, still really want to know, like, what does the other people have to do with all this? Like, did, did Greek Harlan exist only purely as a plot device to gather the Black Fairy Tomb? So they were basically used by the Ministry of Fairies to gather them, and then eradicated by Dorothea so that the, the you know, the Ainz group could obtain these fairy tomes? Is that like their entire reason of existence? And what about Sweetie? Like, where did she disappear to? She had such a prominent role in, in two or three episodes uh, of the second core, and then suddenly she's disappeared to nowhere, right? So, 
uh, I don't really know. I do hope that we will get to each of these characters and all the different factions and what they're trying to do, etc, etc, um, before the very end, right? And we are nearing the end real soon. So, there we go. That was Fairy Gone Episode 20. And, oh yeah, by the way, the, epi the series is called Fairy Gone, right? So, would it be that in the very end there, they actually still achieve the, you know making all the fairies disappear like the fairies going to like a different place a different dimension different world and no longer inhabiting the world of humans you know i could totally see that coming right and that would make t a total sense from the series title standpoint and also from um you know it, it serve as a perfectly logical conclusion as well if you remove all the fairies you don't have to worry about this power falling to wrong hands anymore um and you know humans wouldn't be utilizing their powers in order to combat each other right so i could definitely see a case where that is the ending of this series all right so that was just something that that, I, that quickly popped into my mind anyways that's been my review of episode 20 of fairy gone see you guys next week